I think I've always been a funny, ki you know, funny person, funny kid. You know, uh, I guess um, at some point in my life, I, I, I realized that there are people out there that make a living telling jokes, and I could be one of them. And so I started to aspire to be a comedian. It just took me a long time to do it, but I think I've always had that idea. Nothing really, you know, inspired me. I just liked comedy. I liked laughing. You know? was awesome. It was like, uh, so like I said, I, I always wanted to be a comedian, but uh, for some reason I waited uh, to do it. I didn't start doing comedy till later in life. And uh, I, for whatever reason, I kept pushing it off, pushing it off, you know. And, uh, and, and by the time I had first done stand-up comedy, I had already had kind of a career as a psychologist. You know, I'm a psychologist where the doctor comes from. Uh, and I, I worked in various capacities, and, and I, I was a professor uh, at, at, at universities and colleges. I would teach psychology classes. So the very first time I ever did comedy, I, it felt at home because it was. It felt to me like it was just like being a professor. You know, it was like it's like the same skill set, talking to people. You know, and uh, the di the only difference was it was like uh, they didn't care if I was teaching them anything. I just had to make them laugh, and they weren't taking notes. And so uh, it, it immediately, I was like, oh yeah, this feels familiar. It feels right. It feels good. You know, I got the biggest rush. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say I killed it with my first mic, my open mic, but I, I did, got some good laughs. I had a good time. And as soon as I got off stage, I realized that's the only thing I wanted to do for the rest of my life. You know, I mean, really, it was just, it was that overwhelmingly positive. It's pretty cool. Awesome. Wow. Uh, so when, when I was a kid, I had, we, had, we had HBO, and so I had like the young comedian specials were uh, on HBO. Those were those really struck a chord, and I still remember them. I could still recite, uh, you know, bits uh, that I heard from that. Uh, Sam Kinison, uh, you know, it was, it was his era back then. Uh, the original Pee Wee Herman show, not the one that was for kids, but the adult show that was pretty great. Uh, I was uh, I was first exposed to. Uh, uh, Barry Sobel uh, on uh, on HBO and uh, and to this day I can still recite like a whole bit of Barry Sobel's and then, interesting thing I met him out in LA and, and we know each other and we're, we're friends now uh, but it's like um, uh, I, the first time I met him I go oh my god you're Barry Sobel let me do you you know it's like it's a fanboy you know and he kind of came out it's pretty cool um, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know, other media, like the stuff I really enjoyed when I was growing up, uh, I, was, I really loved Rodney Dangerfield, uh, Carlin, uh, Richard Pryor, but my all-time favorite comedian, who I feel really influenced me quite a bit, uh, was this guy by the name of Bill Hicks. Uh, and uh, any comedian will mention Bill Hicks' name, and they'll all mention it because they're trying to sound edgy or cool. Uh, but uh, Bill Hicks, for me, uh, it was a... Not just like the, the, the a, a comedian I really admired, but also one that uh, I was fortunate enough to meet several times. Uh, and when he, he died, he died mid '90s. Uh, I was able to meet him a few times before he died as an audience member, as a fan. Uh, unfortunately, it was before I started doing comedy. But yeah, he was a major, major influence. You know, I really liked Workaholics when it first came out. I thought it was pretty well written, but it, it's gotten kind of stale and crazy. Uh, I'm a, uh, what's the one with the chicks? Uh, Broad, uh, uh, you know the one? It's like it's a female show. It's on, uh, it's on Broad City. Uh, oh my, it's just, if you haven't seen it, it's it's the funniest thing ever. Uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, you know those. I like that kind of stuff. I mean, it's a, it's not real. You know, hit punch, hit punch. You know, it's a. Uh, I tell you what I hate and what everybody, what other comedians will probably agree with me, Big Bang Theory. Not funny, America. Quit right, watching it. Right. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'd just be flattered if, one, if any comic asked me to tour with them, really. Uh, I would love to, I, I think compatibility-wise, I think uh, I would be a good opener for Ron White. I could see that, you know. Uh, we both wear black jackets. I know we both have old lesbian hair. Uh, with a, um, but I feel like uh, I feel like I could be a good opener for him. I could be. Uh, I, I would love to tour. I mean, with Pat Oswalt, just because I think he's so funny. No, I don't think we're really all that similar, though. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, it's it's that's a tough question because like uh, my dream gig would be one where I don't know I get to bring along my friends, you know, and have and, and pick the people I tour with. You know? You know what? I I, could, I don't think I could do a. I don't think I could I could answer that without without. Um, uh, I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't do a roast without. And now I can't think of his name. But the uh, the, the famous insult comic, the old guy. Uh, you know who's you know he's, he looks like a frog. Don Rickles? Yeah, I'd have to have Don Rickles there. Yeah, I would have to have. He looks a little like a ninja turtle. Uh, he's a. Um, Don Rickles, just to have Don Rickles insult me would be awesome, you know, or Bobby Slayton, because yeah, those guys are known oh, yeah. for insulting people. Uh, but I would love, uh, I think Anthony Jeselnik is a sharp joke writer, I'd love to have him there. Uh, if we could resurrect Gerard, uh, 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 now I'm blanking on last names, you know, Greg Gerardo, thank you, thank you, Gerard, I was going to say Gerard Depardieu, yeah, resurrect <laughs> that fat ass. I was, uh, if we could get uh, Greg Gerardo, Maybe uh, Jezelnik, uh, you know, uh, Bill Hicks, resurrect him, why not? And, uh, and Ralphie May. Ralphie May, I think, could yeah. throw a couple of good bars my way, you know? My phone number? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I, it, I'm not a message comic. You know, I, laugh, you know I, I don't get political. I don't have, you know, any sort of theme. Uh, I just want them to laugh. And I want them to feel good, and uh, and I try to I try to make every person in the audience feel happy and good. Like, and I'm not going to make people laugh at the expense of one person in the front row or something like that. I mean, I'll talk to the people in the front row, but I'm not going to be negative towards them. You know, I'm going to try to uh, to get them smiling. I want everybody to leave smiling because they came in to laugh. I want them to leave after having a good time. So just that simple. Please uh, look me up as Dr. Brian King. Uh, I, I, have a, I, have a fa I have a fan page on Facebook. You can like it. I have, a, I have my personal page. You can add me as a friend. I don't mind. I still have room for people there. Uh, I'm Dr. Brian King on most places. So YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all squeezed together as, as one word, Dr. Brian King. I have my website is drbrianking.com. I really want to get into uh, TV. Uh, I don't know uh, in what capacity. I don't, I don't think I'm right for a sitcom unless the character is like similar to me. Uh, but something. Uh, I was I had I was in talks with a network a couple of years ago about doing like a talk show type of format, uh, and and I, I could see myself being like a funny Dr. Phil. I don't know something like that. I have no idea. Five years ago, if you would have asked me where I would where I would be, I would not have predicted this. Uh, so as long as I'm having fun, and as long as I feel like I'm growing uh, as I as I continue, you know, I don't want to get stale. Uh, I I, uh, I don't want to keep using the same jokes over and over and over. So uh, yeah, five years from now, I hope I'm I, I hope I'm I'm hoping at least got a different half hour of material than what you saw tonight. <laughs> I have a book coming out soon, uh, and Jackie made me think of it uh, as she's talking, because Jackie's talking about uh, how we help people to de-stress and to and to relax. Well, I have a I have a book coming out combining my background in psychology with my uh, with my work as a comedian uh, that actually goes into great detail of the benefits of laughter and humor and so forth. And so I'd like to plug that. Maybe your audience wanted might be interested in that. That's coming out in April. So if they go to my website, drbrandking.com. Uh, the information for my book will be there. Hey folks, this is Dr. Brian King here, and uh, please do me a favor and check out my interview on acutiepie.com.